Well, hello and welcome. This is the first GWC Plays of a brand new decade. And it's actually uh, it's the first GWC Plays in quite quite some time. So, you, you're you probably wondering, well, wh why is the Legend of Zelda Fairy Fountain thing playing over Banjo-Kazooie? And, and that's because th there is a mod that I recently... Uh, recently came to my attention and I saw five minutes of this and I was like, okay, I, I have to play this for myself and this has to be the, the first one I do for GWC Plays of 2020. Where's that theme at? Hey! All right, well, let's just, uh, let's just start it up. Yes. The Legend of Banjo Kazooie Gruntilda's Mask. So Kirko Mods took Banjo Kazooie and Majora's Mask and just put it into a sandwich. I was like, you know what? I love both these games equally, so I I'm all there. And honestly, anything that has to do with N64 modding, I'm there for as well because it's it's so hard to mod N64 games. I, I tried a long time ago, like work with some of the tools they have it I, I gave up it, it's ridiculous oh yeah and, and i guess in the first few minutes i was like man the, the zelda stuff sounds really good in the banjo sound font <laughs> it sounds pretty good and do being that i played banjo kazooie and majora's mask separately across the GWC plays, it, it, it made sense. Like, all right, let me, let me play this one out. Because I, I equally love both of these game franchises. So it's like, I, I, I'm there. It's based off Banjo-Kazooie uh, 1 based on the, uh, the skipping text. Since that's more how it was in Banjo One and Two, we, it was it was uh, the exact same like sound. This is a little faster. Banjo, let's go. You have to be prepared first. The witch's time magic has removed your moves like around for molehill, so I can teach them to you again. So that is what we're doing, and this is probably really bad. I didn't test my controls before. It, it's good, but that would have been bad. So yeah, it, it's Banjo Kazooie in Majora's Mask. It's <laughs> exactly that, and it's it, it's it's pretty cool, honestly. <laughs> and looking into it, this guy has also done some more stuff too. He, he did uh, Banjo Kazooie in Wind Waker. He did uh, Banjo Kazooie in Ocarina of Time, which I, I do have that one. Uh, once I saw this, I had to go see what other stuff he had, and he had the other Zelda ones, which I do have downloaded now. I haven't played them. But I'm gonna have to because in the little bits I saw this, I was like, oh, this this is easily gonna be something up my radar. So like I did say, I did see a few minutes of this. Uh, I was watching uh Vinny from Vine Sauce play it, which is how I kinda came up to my radar. I was like I, I saw the title and I was like, wait, that like that looks kinda interesting, and then I was like, ooh, I, I shouldn't see any more. Okay, uh Right, a little quick. Looks like it's tree one. I just wanted eggs. I'll have to come back later, probably. Man, Banjo's jump is really short. But yeah, and I guess, uh, Walt, while I'm here, I can bring this up. Even though this isn't, uh, Smash related, I, I never got a chance to do the, uh,. GWC plays Banjo Kazooie and Smash. I, I I said I was gonna do it and it, and it never came to be, honestly. But 
I, I, I did end up playing a lot of Banjo. I, I thought it was, uh, I thought it was a really fun character to play as, and a little, like, nods to the older games they have in there is pretty cool with, like, uh, if you hold down, like, the A button for the smash attack, it's the Banjo-Kazooie theme, which is a little slowed down, like, with the pattern, like, there's a lot of things, I know, I know a lot of people are like, Banjo-Kazooie is one of the worst characters. <laughs> in the game it's like oh it's like please don't say that but they're so good but I, I I wasn't disappointed honestly with Banjo Kazooie as, as characters they, they lived up to exactly what I thought and they're, they're, they're pretty fun to play still like I I don't play them all all the time but they they are like one I will bring up, like from time to time. I did make a a, a joke. It, it was a joke, but it wasn't. It, it was that uh, when Banjo Kazooie is in, it's the only characters I'm playing in Smash. I was like, you know, it. Well, that one didn't come true. Cause I I did still go on to keep, continue playing as Kirby, cause I. I must, I must always keep to that, but I, I did play him for a bit. <laughs> Old chicken legs. Press B for powerful beefy bars. All right. And this, this is a really cool little mod to just... Like, I, I wonder how this would be for someone who's never played uh, Majora's Mask or Banjo. <laughs> and you'd probably be like, you probably ask me like, hey, how is it? And they're just going to be like, eh, it's okay, I guess. It's, it's got that, that, uh, that bear from that Smash game that I play. That, the character I avoid. Come on. Right, well, at least the honey comes over here. I'm sorry, hearts. Run, Banjo, run. I'm sure I can get up there. Maybe, uh. Get from here. Holy snap. That toilet. <laughs> Good sound effects in this. Okay, I see that. Right in. Triple mods. She's for real. Oh, dang, I noticed him in this corner. Alright, can't talk to him. I guess I can't do anything in here yet. Oops. No controller. Uh oh. Hey, hey it sounds good. <laughs> See, honestly, this is the thing I was really excited for when playing. Um, when I started playing this, I was like. I want to hear how some of these other songs are going to sound on this, on the sound chip. Oh, 
I think one thing I will give this right now is Kirk Kirko mod has definitely played Banjo Kazooie a lot because I feel the writing is pretty consistent so far. that because there's no time time limit in this if someone was crazy enough to mod the game to that point to add the time limit in that would require like so much reverse engineering that i don't think anybody on this earth knows the n64 enough to do that or or cares enough honestly th this is great enough that someone took the time to do this to say you know what I'm gonna put Majora's Mask and Banjo Kazooie and mix them. It's like there's a. But that's also kind of started to become its own little thing because I've seen the uh, Super Mario 64 and Donkey Kong 64, which that one was, was pretty fun too. So honestly, I, I'm all for put one game into another game. The Mario 64 one, that, well, that one is cool. I honestly, I feel this will be the better fit, though. And honestly, I think it's just because... I think it's putting Banjo Kazooie in like a game that's not really a platformer. I think that's what makes this kind of work a little bit. Is because when you put Mario 64 and Donkey Kong 64, they're both platformers, but different type. So it, inherently, it's gonna have some of those aspects of of like the platforming there. But with this, it's like you don't really have that with Banjo uh, Kazooie and Maj Majora's Mask. Sorry, I had it flipped. You don't have that in. Majora's Mask, and the little bits that you do are are very like s small in that. So I feel it works in that. It, like it's something that should clash, but it ends up working pretty well. Let's go easy. Oh, got on move. Yep. Oh boy. <laughs> hey, there we go. That was easy. One jiggy down. Oh, I bet I'm gonna need the shoes. If the shoes are right here, it's probably gonna be like 10 seconds. Hey, <laughs> I was right. <laughs> I, just guess, I just guessed. Like, okay, arbitrary number, like 10. That, that's short. It would feel like it would require the shoes. Let me get this uh, over here, snow piece.
This one sounds good too. So far, I'm very impressed with like <clears throat> just the kind of recreation. They sounded pretty good. So kind of getting on to the uh, kind of a little, a little bit because GWC plays w was away for the entire month of December. Like I I didn't do anything, <laughs> which kind of sucks because I I did kind of have some ideas of stuff to do for December. Like there's a lot of games and different things, but. <clears throat> Things got really crazy December, like schedule-wise on my end, and <clears throat> honestly, I had like 20 different things under my belt, and getting that uh, those end of the year lists out, like that really took up a lot of the time there too. Even though those came late, only one of them technically kind of came out uh, at the end of the year, but it was like a day late, and that's only due to my editor give me like the worst garbage which i which i guess i can mention that now because the only place that really got the explanation was twitter so that that uh best of uh the year list was supposed to come out 2019 was supposed to come out january 31st and it would have come out but i decided you know what uh I, I won't use adobe premiere this time i'll use sony vegas to edit it on and boy, was that a mistake because halfway through editing it, I was like almost done. I was on like number two of it. And for some reason, Sony Vegas has crashed. And I could never open it back up without it crashing nonstop. And it was consistently like that every single time. There was nothing I could do. I tried opening it. I tried even like rendering out it in, in individual sections. And in like rendering out a two minute clip said it was gonna take two hours. So something was just up. So I said, you know what? The, the faster thing to do would just to be re to re edit the entire thing. And that's what I did. I spent all day of my New Year's Eve editing that video. Like from like nine in the morning to 11.45 at night. I was editing nonstop. I got it out and the video turned out uh, pretty good in me. I, I like that video, but it, it was very annoying. And because of how long it took to render it out, I, I didn't get a chance to upload it before 2019, sadly. <clears throat> so, so that's why that video came out the next day. So I still consider it uh, a 2019 end video, but it, it's just due to ridiculous things. But don't believe me, uh, I, I'm i continuing GWC plays. It, it's still happening. M maybe not as frequent as it was last year, but I, I'm definitely keeping it on because I've still got a lot of games left to talk about. And especially when it comes to new games, like, God, this, this year starting out is, is crazy. So... There's a lot of things on my plate, and especially some games I've played over that December break. I I have a lot of things to to talk about. Like I I finally played Cuphead. I need to discuss that. I I have Luigi's Mansion 3 in a box. I I have not played it yet. So it's it's gonna be a busy one for GWC plays for a bit. Like you may see some multiple GWC plays a week for a while, but. Believe me, this is more for catching up because uh, I have a lot of things that need to be said on some games. And it shows some some other games off too. Like it's gonna be a mix of like talking about some, some newer games, but I also kinda wanna get back to what I kinda started this thing out for originally was a chance to talk about, <clears throat> about newer games, but also to talk about some older games I really enjoy. Like I've, 
I played Banjo Kazooie. I talked about that, and well, it's a series that's pretty big. There's some games I've played where it's like maybe no one hears too much about it, like Mega Man Legends. Like that was one I was very happy to play and talk about, just because you you don't really hear too much about Mega Man Legends these days now. And I still got a lot of other games like Dark Cloud. Like oh. Oh, I can't wait to start to talk about that game, but that's definitely for another time. But that's enough for the GWC update uh, of sorts. I just want to get that out of the way to kind of talk about it. So let's get back to the Ban Banjo Kazooie Gruntilda's mask. One thing is now it makes me want to play Majora's Mask, which is like God. That a lot of games coming out like I, I but I can't help it like this <laughs> George mask is so good uh oh <laughs> switch super smash brothers make sure life man Mighty Man. And that's what I called it. I, I don't know why. That's why I called him Banjo Kazooie. I wonder because this is, this is, is uh, running off Banjo Kazooie 1, I wonder if it's got the thing where if I lose all my lives, I have to uh, get all <coughs> the uh, music notes again. Hopefully not. Hey, this sounds good too. Almost like they're basing it off of a 3DS version because it's got the uh, Nintendo GameCube thing there. Oh, it's not. That's pretty cool. <laughs> got the King Babon there. It's got that little poster from 64. Oh, I see a big chest up there. It's kind of laggy in here. Can I save? Hmm. Hold on. Okay, for safety I saved. I did a save state because uh, I don't know if this game crashes, but just in case if it does, oh, I'm there. I still want I still want that poster like on my wall somewhere like it, it's been one I've thought about for for ages ages just from like a young age even like like man I want that the bomb poster somewhere uh oh another move ah talon trot Best move. Uh oh. <laughs> In clock town, I'll give you. Three clues every time you find me. Just press B to listen to them. I figure out what the bombs do. I'm gonna check that case over there. Okay, what's this in here? Banjo Kazooie, B Bomb Battlefield. Okay, there's that Wind Waker one. There's this one. What's that coming soon one right there? Oh, 
I can't I can't see. <laughs> Temple. So I like this little like stuff right here. Oh yeah, there's that one too. I forgot to mention he did one where he put Banjo Kazooie in Donkey Kong Country and made it like a 2D side scroller. Like, like did this dude is extremely talented because like do like I said earlier, like doing stuff on the N64, like making these kind of mods is extremely time consuming. It's very hard. But doing something like this takes a lot. Peeking around, search carefully. Wait, no, I shouldn't skip that. Alright. I've heard that there is a secret tunnel between the milk bar and the bomber's hideout. Curiosity shot, but we'll probably have to come back there later. I haven't checked that one section of Clock Town yet. Wait, why am I not, why am I just not using this? I thought about it. Oh, that's why. I need, fifth, I need, I need six more. I, I did watch too. I, I think there is a section down here. Let's go inside. So good. I want this whole soundtrack somewhere. Like, this is su it's such a good fit. Like, <laughs> like if, Ko if Koji Kondo is like, you know what? I do want to make Majora's Mask soundtrack on the banjo because we like sound font, like just the, like the same like thing they used. Can I do that? You know, it sounds it was still, still sounded good. <laughs> something else here but I can't find it Clungo voice. I always appreciated it that he just reused <coughs> Nipper's voice and just put it as Clungo. I don't know why this fight was so hard as a kid. I still remember the first time playing Banjo Kazooie. Like, when I got to Treasure Trove Cove, it was like. It was, uh, it was second grade. It was like. Seven in the morning, I was, I was ready to go to school like before, and I popped in Banjo Kazooie to play like a few minutes, and I, I couldn't beat him. And I was thinking about it the entire school session. I was like, man, how did I beat that guy? Like I, I was, I was pretty addicted to this game when uh, I first got it. Uh, 
All right, I guess I can't get anything up there right now. All right, let's go in. Oh, that's weird. You can't you can't go inside. This throws all my banjo <laughs> knowledge out the door. You defeat Nipper and you just don't go in the shell. to learn how to use eggs I, I feel definitely it's probably going to be in uh, you know, five jigsaw yeah I'll just leave but <clears throat> I'm sure it, it's definitely uh, <clears throat> inside of uh, North Clock Town because that's where you get the uh, bubble ability of George's mask. And it would make sense if he was trying to go for that same thing that would be there. Yeah, I know, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but like this this mod is just it's really cool. Like, I don't really have too much to say, honestly. It's just like a really, really fun little mod. Like, it, it utilizes Majora's Mask and everything else pretty well in terms of, like, the exploration and, like, getting around Clock Town and all that. Alright, let's go. There's no tingle. Where am I gonna buy my map set? My five dollar map. The bombs. <laughs> True. George's mask. There's always a way to get up there. Uh oh, mighty men. I need to get some more health. I'm getting through this. Oh, wait, there, there is none. Oh, God. Run, you fool. safety just just in case i die and it's like hey you got to get all the music notes again i'm gonna be like uh now nah, i'm good
Okay. Can I go in here? Oh no. <coughs> oh, here's one. Very nice. Wait, I just check out the curiosity shop. I can now go inside there. See if I can get that last uh <coughs> jigsaw before I can open up that door. Tetris blocks here. Mario Cap. Hey, they, they made their way in here somehow. Okay, so I gotta find a way to break that safe. First, I gotta find a way to get up here. Nope, wrong one. It's a bomb shop. I don't know why I thought to jump in there like like it was gonna do something like like I think this is 64 like maybe maybe he would think to put something in there haven't I checked? It's like I just need one more jiggy and I can get inside that place. Oh, I didn't check here. I always forget about this place because in, in the main game, you really have no reason. Oh, oh wait, I have enough. Yeah, in the main game, you really have no reason to go here. Just because, unless you want to do the lottery, but like, there's not anything really, unless you want to get that money. <laughs> Just my bank up, oh, I'm you know, making progress. I, I figure something out. something in here I can do.
Oh, they have a they have a pagey from uh, ukulele in here. <coughs> I, I will say oh, the Easter eggs so far have been pretty on point. Up, oh, and it's got the little it's the crate from Donkey Kong Country too. All all of them. Up, oh, another one of the bombs. Oh snap! Oh, this is this is dope. <laughs> this is sick. God, and this remake sounds good too. <laughs> and this is awesome. <laughs> Honestly, right now, it's like a 10 out of 10 thing. It's so good. And there we go. This is a uh, credit from Zelda. Zelda one being the game. I guess every time you get an extra, it changes. Get back up there again. And I can get that jump again. Get up there. That was That was a crazy jump. Made it. Mm. 
Well, I can break into this. Check. All right. Well, I'll head out of here for now. The only other I'll check is I'll check uh, the milk bar. We have the Triforce. Maybe I can do something there with that. Uh, I want to try and check every place I can right now since I'm in this area. This version kind of sounds like it reminds me of so much of like like a mint the minish cap version like, like it's very similar in a lot of ways i think it's just like with like the like the sound font and everything it just it reminds me of that still crying about the switch yep So where, dang, where can I go? Hmm. I'm curious how far I can actually take this too. Let me see. Let me push it. So, so it works far here. It just doesn't want to work <clears throat> if you go to North Clock Town. Wait. Never mind. I figured out where I have to go. There's a certain hill I couldn't climb. Let me check this out now. Hey, here we go. There's number five. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go check out that door. Like we actually do it as this. Oh, well. Put it down, press the down C button. All right, let's go. I wasn't expecting I was going to make progress, but <clears throat> I'm making it. It's, you know, it's kind of lengthy so far. Well, not, probably not that long. I think I've only been playing for I don't know, almost, almost 50 minutes. Now, I'm not sure how much is left. I, bel I believe there's 10 jiggies. This is mostly just so I can transform out and go back to them. Dang it. Honestly, I wonder how this would work with like, they used Banjo Tooie as a basis. Cause I know, I, I know that game has a lot more moves and it's kind of a more technical game, so it'd be interesting to see what they can do with that. Especially with like the, the switching off of characters and that and some of the other things that that game added to the fray.
It's gonna be here. I know that there's a spider in the original. I'll get one of these guys. Shoes at. I need my shoes. Right, here we go. Time for the shoes. It has to be. It's not that. So it's even got that in there too. It's got the data knife creature. Always use the flight pad. All right, let's go check that out. <coughs> it opened up that little hole too, so. Before head back, guess check this out. Maybe I'll check out just like the day to night when we switch into the final day. May call it because I honestly, there's more. If there's more to this, <coughs> and you're watching, maybe we allude to like you to uh, if you're interested in playing this to play the rest for yourself. So. You can go into it with uh, at least the ending of it going in kind of blind. Cause I feel I could sit here and probably play this for for, for a while. God, what's this remix gonna be? Okay, I can't do anything there yet. I think I'll check out, uh, check out the milk bar, I'm gonna call it. Probably there. I just need one more Triforce. Two totals real quick. Okay. Starting to mess with a hundred. Two. Clock down five. One minutes and thirty-seven seconds. Right. I think we'll uh we'll save and quit. We'll, let's see what this what this ending is. We're just gonna go back to the main menu. <coughs> I don't know how to expect like wait, he animated like a, a cutscene. If he did that, that would be incredible. But that's <laughs> I that's a little too much. I ask.
Let me hear that remix again. Yes. This remix is so good. Especially this one right here. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna call it right here for the Legend of Zelda. Uh, no, uh, Banjo and Kazooie Grantilda's Mask. Well, honestly, the original thing I said works just as well. Yeah, this is a fantastic mod. Like, this, this was really good. Like, as a whole thing on itself, like, it's just really well put together. The like, puzzle aspect and everything else, like, is really fun and. Honestly, it keeps a lot of like the little charm of Banjo Kazooie, and, and it works pretty well. Like putting Banjo and Kazooie inside that Majora's Mask map su surprisingly works better than it sounds. And honestly, now I'm 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 excited to check out what other mods this person has because this got me very very excited. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna finish this very very soon. But yes, go. Go check this out. I'm going to leave in the description of this video a link to the person's channel, to the other mods they've done, and a download to this as well. So if you want to play it for yourself. So yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, first GWC plays of the new decade. It's I've got a lot of games to check out and a lot of different things to do. So I hope to see you along the way. Thanks for watching. And... This remix is awesome.